What you're looking at right now is a pregnant copepod. Both male and female copepods are required for reproduction. Males locate females by following their pheromone trails in the water. Pheromones are chemicals that attract members of the same species. Males place a single sperm packet on the female's abdomen. The sperm escapes the packet, enters the female's body through the opening of a reproductive system, and is stored in special sacs. The fertilized eggs are usually carried in a pair of sacs attached to the abdomen, which you can see here. Copepods are small aquatic crustaceans and are one of the most numerous metazoan groups in aquatic communities. Copepods inhabit a huge range of salinities, from fresh water to hypersaline conditions, and they can be found virtually everywhere there is water. Their habitats range from the highest mountain lakes to the deepest ocean trenches, from the cold polar ice water interface to the hot, active hydrothermal vents. Copepods may be free-living, symbiotic, or internal or external parasites on almost every major metazoan phylum. Adults typically have a body length in the 1-2 mm range. Ecologically, the planktonic copepods provide functionally important links in the aquatic food chain, feeding on the microscopic algal cells of the phytoplankton, and in turn being eaten by juvenile fish and other planktivores, including some whales. In freshwater, copepods have the potential to act as a biological control mechanism for malaria by consuming mosquito larvae. However, they also serve as intermediate hosts of many animal parasites, and even parasites of humans, including the fish tapeworm and guinea worm. Oh, sorry I didn't see you there. I'm just over here looking into my microscope. Well, since you're here, I might as well say it. I am Luke Anderson. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and make sure to comment down below any ideas you have or any advice you have for me. And as always, I am microbially yours.